Hello everyone. In this video, I am giving a quick introduction on audit and conditional split. How these features will be implemented in SSI packages. We are now going to use an audit feature on OLDB source. This let's con configure OLDB source. Double click on OLDB source and the source uh, which I am using is Adventure Works. So I am selected a table from Adventure Works DB that is a sales product table. Okay, now I am going, uh, going to do some operation like sorting the data. In real time, these operations might differ. Okay, sort based on the name ascending and click OK. So once this operation is happened, I want to check when this operation is uh, done. So I am going to use this audit tool. So now whatever the data come from the OLDB source and then after the operations and it will the data will further proceeds to the audit tool. So the audit tool now if you see here these all are empty but if you click here these many features are there in an audit tool that means you can able to track the execution instant GUID, package ID and package name, version ID and you can track the mission name, username and the task name. Suppose uh, the same ETL job has been done by different different people in different different times. Even we can able to track by using this audit feature, audit transform feature. Okay, now in this, uh, in my scenario, I am going to track the execution time, package ID and the task name and the task ID and click OK. Now what will happen, whatever the uh, uh, columns included in the data source neither these four columns now are added to the data source okay so now let's create a destination and check the result how it comes okay so now i am choosing a destination oldb destination i'm connecting further to the oldb destination and let's configure now here so now if the destination is already available in the DB, select that table from here, like OLE DB destination, or else you can you can simply click on New. It will auto populate the SQL statement to create the uh, table. Even you can edit this table as per your requirement. Okay. So now I am selecting OLE DB destination. And then after click on mapping so these mapping will help us so here there is no uh, version id is there in destination but in my source it is package id so now what i am doing is uh, configuring this package id to the version id okay so now click ok so this is how we map all those things and Connection is okay, mapping is okay, and error outputs. There are different different error outputs will there. If there is a failure is happened, uh, we can go by ignore failure. One is there and redirected to the true. So in this scenario, now I am let it be failure fail component and click apply and click OK. Okay. Now if you check my OLDB data source uh, data destination here. It's an empty row. Okay. So now the ETL task, once if I click run, all this data will be fetched to the OLEDB destination. You can run the program directly by click on here, the start button or here on execution or right click and select execution package. So in these manners, we can execute the program uh, ETL. Uh, package here okay so now what i am doing is before running the package i am saving this one and also i am checking whether the connections are connected or not okay so all my connections are connected and now i am clicking on the execution oh sorry now i am clicking on start button 
okay so my data flow task one has these many steps and these all are executed successfully you can check the program progress here okay now let us see what happened in OLDB destination yes we fetch the data successfully and even the time is captured here and the task name is captured here version id that means uh, that is also captured here yeah even you can capture uh, some more additional fields which i showed to you like username and mission name okay so this is the way we are using audit transformation and in this tutorial i am going to tell one more transformation to you that is conditional split so click on stop button okay go to the home button click on task flow okay so now coming to the conditional split so conditional split the name itself it's saying that uh, we will segregate or divide the data based on some conditions like where condition the same thing here it will do the uh, the same thing uh, the conditional split will do here okay so now uh, delete the oldb destination and you will find conditional split here on uh, commonly split click on commonly split okay now after audit it comes further to the conditional split and if you click on the conditional split so you will uh, we can implement mathematical functions string functions null functions and if you click on the plus button these many functions also we can implement on conditional split so as a beginners for better understanding what i am demonstrating here is a, a simple uh, conditional split based on the numbers or some values okay so so these are the columns the the data further whatever the columns coming here are displayed here okay so now what i am showing is uh, this is the case one for us and uh, while typing the syntax here you should uh, keep these things uh, in memory so keep uh, whatever the columns are there mention the column name in the square bracket okay list price so this is my case one so the data that means uh, from the db the price uh, the list price is greater than 500 bugs those data will be populated in my destination so this is my case one and now comes to the case two so the case two is uh, let's take on the color okay so now color is equals to blsck black okay so now see here the case one is highlight not highlighted but the case two is highlighted in red color why because here the color c should be capital here okay now check even it is showing an error so now uh, here uh, equal to means we need to assign with double equal to okay so this is the uh, exact way and then after uh, not single quotations double quotations all these things we need to keep in the memory otherwise what will happen is uh, the we, we will get some uh, errors while at the time of execution and configuring the error output is one of the main thing here we need to hear sometimes if any error come just ignore those errors or you can redirect those rows okay and click ok and uh, now see here it is already showing something here Okay, always ignore failures. Okay, now uh, so 
we are splitting the data based on the conditions now let's map it to the destination okay so again my destination is oldb destination so this is my oldb destination i'm dragging this one here so now if you click and connect to here it get connected and it is see here which output you want to fetch to this one so now i am selecting case one case one is like based on the numbers right okay so whatever the results come from the case one those results are uh, result will be populated up at OLEDB destination here and now further click here and now comes to the mapping before mapping we need to select the table so already I have created these tables if you don't create it, this if you don't created those tables so what you need to do you need to click on new automatically the query gets generated and if you click OK automatically it get added to your DB okay so now I am selecting this table like OLDB destination num1. Okay. So in this one, I am checking whether all these fields are mapped properly or not. All these are mapped perfectly. Okay. Okay. Now click OK. And I have another output. For that output, I require another OLDB destination. See, if I click here on conditional split automatically another two arrows is coming here you all know that the red arrow represents the error or the rest of the data will come from uh, the red arrow so as we have two cases now these gray lines are coming that case one is come coming for one another one is come for case two now i connected here now if you check here see here case 2 i selected the case 2 click ok and now let's con configure this one and if you click here i have oldb destination names 1 2 3 4 and click on mapping and check whether all are mapped properly or not okay now let's check what's the data here on oldb destination 1 names 1 and names one two three four so here in destination already i have some data so now what i am doing is i am just deleting this data otherwise we can also keep this data so it will get inserted uh, some more duplicate rows in the same uh, table so so to avoid that what i am doing is uh, to deleting the data So delete from OLDB destination number one. Clicking here, 178 rows get affected. Then after deleting, click on destination number one and executing the same thing. Okay, 136 rows are deleted. Now change this statement to select start from. Okay, so now our project get readied let's click on so click on save check the connections are connected or not let's run the package so at the condition split we get an error so what's this error zero rows zero rows okay let's stop this So, for debugging purpose, as of now, what I am doing is I am deleting the case 2. Okay. So, how to delete the case 2? You can delete the case 2 like this. Okay. Click OK. Deleting this. And now, again, save this project. Click Run. Okay. So for one condition, it executes perfectly all right. Okay, so list of price. 
so we will we get some error regarding uh, uh, regarding the string operations might be okay so now for string operations let us see whether the data is populated or not there first okay so this operation 136 rows are populated here and you can check here even uh, what what's the time now you can check here the same time and the task name everything has been captured here 